so let's move on to the next topic uh, in this next topic we'll be learning the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics so micro this term micro this means small so micro basically means small and macro here basically means large micro small macro large okay so macro is derived from the greek word macros which uh, indeed means large and micro is derived from this greek word micros and it means small so the first definition is ki what is the meaning of micro and macro economics so micro economics basically means small and macro meaning large okay so this is the first definition which you all know now okay micro and macro second thing uh this studies economic problems or economic relationship at an individual level meaning that when we are studying microeconomics what we are basically dealing we are dealing uh, economic problems and economic relationship at a small level but when we are studying macroeconomics okay macro meaning large so we'll be dealing economic problems and economic relation at the larger level means here a bigger picture is involved that is your economy as a whole so when you will be studying uh, the overall picture and problems of economics you will be studying it under macroeconomics makes okay now this is the second difference okay ki what is the area of your study is your second difference now uh, the third thing uh, micro economics is concerned with the determination of output and price for individual or firm or an industry okay here what you basically do aap kitna uh, कितना आउटपुट हुआ या कितना किसी चीज का प्राइस है यू डिसाइड आप कहाँ पढ़ते हैं दिस कंसेप्ट इन योर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स ओके किसी इंडिविजुअल जैसे कि आई एम एन इंडस्ट्री एंड हाउ मच आई एम प्रोड्यूसिंग ए कमोडिटी फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस पेन ओके सो दिस इज माई आउटपुट यू विल इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग मी एज एन इंडस्ट्री यू विल बी स्टार्टिंग की हाउ मच दिस पेन आई एम प्रोड्यूसिंग एंड वॉट इज द प्राइस ऑफ पेन आई एम कीपिंग सो दिस इज यू आर स्टार्टिंग मी एट एन माइक्रो लेवल ओके बट वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग ऑल द आउटपुट एंड प्राइस ऑफ दिस पेन इंडस्ट्री मतलब आई एम जस्ट वन फॉर्म ओके देर आर मेनी फॉर्म्स लाइक मी हु आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द सेम पेन एंड एट डिफरेंट प्राइजेस वेन यू कलेक्टिवली स्टडी ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू आर स्टार्टिंग इट एट अ मैक्रो लेवल दैट इज इन अ बिगर पिक्चर दैट इज योर मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स सो थ्री थिंग्स हाउ दिस वर्ड माइक्रो एंड मैक्रो डिराइव्ड वॉट इज द एरिया ऑफ स्टडी एंड वॉट वी आर स्टार्टिंग इन दिस ओके दीज थ्री थिंग्स वी हैव लर्न till till now so if it is too much for you you need to pause this video and process this and then come back okay now we'll be moving to the fourth uh, difference now this is uh, microeconomics is referred to as the theory of price so microeconomics jaise you have a pet name you have a nickname so our nickname for microeconomics is the theory of price so this is your fourth point of difference so in macro economics we uh, study the theory of income and the theory of employment so the the nickname for macro economics is the theory of income and the theory of employment now moving on to the fifth point of difference between these two micro and macro economics the fifth point of difference is the assumptions so what are uh, assumptions basically these are few uh, aise these are few terms jo hum khud hi pre decide करते हैं विच डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सराउंडिंग कि आपके पास क्या अवेलेबिलिटी है ऑफ रिसोर्सेज ठीक है तो वेन वी लर्न माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड एनी थियोरी वी वी अज्यूम समथिंग फर्स्ट देन वी डिड्यूज द थियोरी देन वी मेक सर्टन कंक्लूजन सो वॉट दिस माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स अज्यूम्स इट अज्यूम्स दैट माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक वेरिएबल्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट वेर एज वेन वी स्टडी माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स we here assume micro economic variables are constant so this is the fifth point of difference uh, the difference in the assumptions between the two now the uh, sixth and the last point of difference is the market forces okay whenever you hear this term market forces in your higher studies in your lower studies wherever you go always remember market forces means the forces of demand and supply what are you demanding and how much as a for example i am a producer and you students are demanding some kind of uh, 11th class 
course from me okay so what uh, that is your demand but i if am i able to fulfill that demand of yours so that is your demand and supply this is the most basic uh, example of demand and supply ki you are demanding something you want something from me and if i am able to supply that that is the supply of your demand okay so market forces means demand and supply so in microeconomics market forces of demand and supply play a significant role in the context of microeconomic problems matlab microeconomic problems micro meaning what small so jo bhi problems at an individual level or at an firm level you are dealing with these uh, problems are dealt using microeconomic variables whereas if you are studying economy as a whole matlab if you are studying uh, something about the whole country for example unemployment and for example the price level or the inflation you will be using uh, the government policies at the my macro level which uh, you will be studying under macroeconomics so these were the few basic differences between macro and microeconomics these are very easy you don't need to uh, mug up everything this is just basic understanding okay just remember the terms micro and macro small and large okay where these things are derived from what are the assumptions okay what are the problems you are dealing with when while reading these subjects okay so these were the few differences between these two branches of economics